Hey guys, on this episode we're going to install this, I believe it's Apisto uh, Auto Edition. Uh, it helps keep like bugs and uh, mice and rats out of your car. Here we have my 1994 Mercury Cougar. I've been having problems with mice and rats pulling out the uh, interior of the hood and nesting in different places. I actually found a bunch nesting down in here. So I'm hoping to install this device which makes a noise um, that scares them away. I'm also going to be using this opportunity to try to test out the 3D printed wrench we did in the last episode. If you haven't seen that episode yet, click here and it'll take you to that and you can check it out. All right, let's see what we got in the box. Got some zip ties for mounting. Got our red and black wire with which the head I can talk with what looks like a inline fuse maybe let's see yep with a fuse and then the actual unit itself if you guys are interested in getting one, there will be a link in the video description below. Um, I got this off of Amazon, I think it was like $30. All right, now we've got to work on placement. I've connected the wire to the bottom of it so that wherever we do get it, we still have the wire attached to it and don't have to fish the wire down to it and try to plug it in. Another thing you want to be careful of is I wouldn't mount it anywhere near the engine because the engine gets really hot and it's just a plastic piece. I decided that I probably wanted to test this thing before I put it in because that would really suck to run all these wires and you know zip tie it to the car and all that and not have it work. So we're going to test it real quick. And to do that all we have to do is hook the red wire to the red wire and the black wire to the black wire. Definitely say that'll keep the. Oh, that that hurts. <laughs> Definitely think that'll keep the uh, mice and rats away. All right. After some fiddling around and stuff, I decided that I'm actually going to move it into um, this little space kind of behind the wheel well because I want to be able to access it more easily, so that I can unplug it and things like that when I am working on the car. So it's not just sitting there giving me a headache. So what I'm going to do. It's just loop the zip ties through the top. One on each side. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a cable, or not a cable, a, a line that runs this way through here. So I'm just gonna try to kind of sling this over that. I've already run the cable and make sure to make sure that all of that will fit. Um, I'm actually gonna pull that out to know that I have enough um, wire, not cable, to know that I have enough wire to get to my battery and everything. So, I'm just gonna just wrap it. And you're gonna wanna get this as tight as possible because your car is going to be moving around, you don't want it bouncing around and um, possibly coming loose. Come on. I have ginormous fingers. And this is a little tiny spot. cable is sticking up here in the middle. I want to make sure to secure that too so it doesn't get hooked onto anything. And I'm not 
exactly sure. Rennet actually threw the part of the wheel well. Now I'm going to pull it tight because I want all of my excess on the battery side. So the nice things about batteries is they're usually pretty self-explanatory. Black goes to your negative and red goes to your positive. Or what you can do in the case of this car, it actually has a ground uh, bolt right outside. So I might go to that and we'll just kind of loosen terminals. And remember, whenever you do this, you will lose like your clock settings and things like that. Going to try our 3D printed wrench, but I'm not sure this is going to work because this is even hard for a regular wrench because of the way the cables are in here. Yeah, it's not going to work for that one, but I have a feeling it'll work on this one. Let me grab a regular wrench. All right, we have a regular wrench now. Moving a little bit. You want to open it up just enough to slide this in there. Run the wiring the best you can. Kind of using the actual plastic cover to push it down. All right, that's in place. Especially when you have metal tools, you want to be careful not to ever touch the positive and the negative side of the battery because it'll spark and could possibly really hurt if you're holding on to whatever tool that is. I've done it before. It's not. Nothing. So you want to tighten this back up until it's nice and steady. Not gonna come out. Put that back. Did decide I'm gonna try to go to where the car or where the battery is hooked into the grounding bolt. Let's see if our 3D printed wrench will work on this one. Okay, so I turn it the right way. We actually got. So there's one thing. There's one thing you can use a 3D printed wrench for. Loosening a bolt on your car. But I wouldn't say most bolts. This one's pretty small. And it's not in there very tight because I can hand this one. So just slide that wire. Oh gosh. Putting that down. And. Not back up. So here's a close up look at the unit. I've got it zip tied in right here and right there. I've actually got it unplugged right now because it definitely makes some noises that are going to keep animals away. And then I've got the cable running along the top here. I need to make sure that that's not going to crush when the hood closes, but there's enough room up in here that I think will be okay. Just need to make sure that it's over that side. So it's run, comes down, goes under the engine coolant bottle, around here, comes up, and it's bolted into the two spots, and there's your fuse. One thing that it did say when I was reading the literature was that it's smart enough to shut off when the car is running so you're not making noises the whole time you get on the road. So I'm gonna plug it back in and jump in and start the car and we'll see if that actually is true.
Well, it shut off, so I'd say it's true. All right, I think that's going to about do it for this video. If you guys want your own audio edition, ep I have no idea how to say these name. Th this name, it's Epesto, I think. I don't know. When you're naming your companies, you guys need to name your companies better, because yeah, this is just ridiculous. But if you want your own, it's in the link in the video description. Um, also, our Twitter and Facebook will be down there. We figured out something we can use our 3D printed wrench for. Um, definitely looking for more ideas, so if you guys have them, send them my way because I want to do as much as we can with testing this thing out. It did pretty good, um, but like I said, I don't think it's going to do anything super duper, but let's test it out and see. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment. If you didn't like this video, I guess you can give it a thumbs down, but we'd prefer you to like this video. Please subscribe if you're not already, and stay tuned for the next one. I almost forgot to say goodbye. Goodbye! We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.